Hello guys and welcome, my name is Aaron Cooper, welcome to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today i got something really awesome that I want to share with you all, in case you weren't aware, join the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare campaign mode storyline, and the main enemy is going to be Kit Harlington. You might recognise Kit Harlington from Game of Thrones, and he's going to be playing as the leader of the sentiment defence fronts within the Infinite Warfare campaign mode storyline. And obviously, what I thought I should do for you all, this is a short little clip to basically allow Kit to talk about his role and how it's going to be effectively throughout of the main Infinite Warfare campaign mode storyline. So without further ado, hopefully you all enjoy the video. If you do, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you all again real soon upon another brand new video. See you all then, guys. For me personally, being part of Call of Duty and the biggest video game franchise ever. When the call came through to come and do this, it was a no-brainer for me. I'm personally a bit of a space freak. So for me, this game, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, being set in space is just, just a brilliant step for the game. You know, what excited me about it was it was a villain. I don't get to play villains very often, you know. I've never played a villain before. My take on Admiral Koch is that he has an element of the dictator about him. He's an invading commander. He's someone who wants to control a whole race of people and feels that he's entitled to do that. He's also not afraid of death. That makes him incredibly terrifying. This place isn't ours. Come on. Come on. Come on. Save the bullets. But I think what's great with, with Salem Koch is that he's a madman. So I think that was, that I found that very fun to play. Like all best villains, psychotic and unpredictable. And I really enjoyed playing psychotic and unpredictable. It was a really interesting challenge. This, this felt quite theatrical to me. It's something I would definitely, definitely do again. I found it freeing and it was, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. 